further ado, I want to bring out the man of the hour, Mr. Tupac Shakur. There's always like debate over Pac not being lyrical. Mm -hmm. You had to tap into his pen. You had to tap into right. his performance. What do you say of one that debate and two like just the writings of Tupac when it mm -hmm. comes to rap? It was real. Mm -hmm. It was you know it's heartfelt. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like he wasn't the you know the the witty guy with the pen. Right. He he had that when he wanted to be sometimes, but it was just real and raw and exactly what was going on. It was straight to the point. You know, say he wasn't trying to beat her. He wasn't yeah. trying to punchline. No to yeah, yeah, it was just straight real. This is what's going on in the streets. This is what's going on. This is what it is. You paint a picture for the listener. It's not always pretty, but it's real. I'm important from the streets. I'm educating and keeping it real. And that's why people connect with that that energy within what with, with, with how he brung it is unmatched nobody could ever duplicate that What's up, New York? I think I see me small we got a big platform man use that platform to make change California. being a Pac fan and going into the film especially with it being an unsolved like crime right you go and trying to find like oh i'm gonna find out who killed him here like yeah. i'm gonna figure it out mm -hmm. and i think it's so easy to cast figures like suge and figures like biggie mm -hmm. as the bad guy but this film does a great job of showing tupac's relationship with these people mm -hmm. you don't leave hating biggie you don't right. leave hating suge. you just leave loving Pac. first of all i love that mm -hmm. I, I, I definitely do i haven't heard anybody say that but um just LT Hutton, like he he produced and wrote this to really Pox POV. So it's a lot of the stuff that's out of his own mouth. Death Row is more than a label. It's a way of life. It's real simple. You either with us or you against us. I actually watched and was involved in both of those relationships very heavily. I was able to really say this is what it was, you know. And and like I said, it was a a bigger responsibility to not lean to trying to guide you to hate either of these guys yeah. because it was like at the end of the day we don't perpetuate the nonsense we want to give you a clear understanding it actually is about Tupac and just some of the naivete in the world when you 25 years old as a young black man you you have misunderstandings that yeah. that sometimes yeah. we never get to you know resolve, resolve. It, right. we must not hate those who have done wrong to us for as soon as we hate them we become just like them. 